Hey, there's this new place called Becky's Juice Shack, and I hear they have these really cool vitamin C shots, so we can head down to Malibu, head down there, sip on them all day, and we'll probably live forever. I don't want to be some like negative Nelly on all this stuff, but when we start looking at like antioxidants and start trying to relate those to potentially living longer and aging, that's just very frustrating. But it also comes with some merit because here's what's going on. Up until like the late 90s and early 2000s, we really did associate antioxidants with positive effects on aging. We, the research was really showing, oh, hey, well, reactive oxygen species or oxidative damage, oxidative stress is a problem when it comes down to aging. And I'm not denying that it is a problem. There is an issue with it, but that's not what the modern day research is really looking at. And I have some really solid ways to explain how that works. Okay, so they used to think that, okay, well, because of oxidative damage and lipid peroxidation and all these free radicals in our body, it's damaging cells and damaging cell membranes, which is thereby triggering potential mutations and all kinds of potential disease states. Well, that came to a screeching halt when some studies came out that found some pretty alarming things. Before I get into that, if you want to save 25% off your entire grocery order through Thrive Market, I popped a link down below in the description. They're a sponsor on this channel, but if you're watching this channel, you get access to 25% off your entire grocery order. So Thrive Market's an online grocery store. So it allows you to shop by different diet category. So basically, oh, I'm doing keto, I want this, I want XYZ. Or hey, I'm doing paleo, I want XYZ. Really cool stuff, but the best part is, at least for a busy person, it gets delivered to your doorstep. And they even have like some perishable items like uh, meat and seafood, regenerative stuff, really cool stuff. But the best part is, you get that 25% off discount and you get a free gift when you use that link down below. So that link is in the description. You could check them out after this video. So things came to a screeching halt when there was a study that found that by giving subjects antioxidants, like a lot of antioxidants to combat this terrible reactive oxygen species thing, well, when they gave them those, that actually reduced their overall lifespan. That was a negative effect. What the heck? Well, think about it simply. Oxidative stress is a stressor, okay? Now, there's something called mitohormesis, okay? Now, that oxidative stressor triggers something called FOXO, okay? FOXO3 to be specific. Now, this is a stress response that allows our cells and our mitochondria to get stronger and more resilient. Okay, it's exactly why caloric restriction, which I've talked about in I don't know how many videos, is so powerful because caloric restriction is such a stressor that the mitochondria becomes more resilient and gets better. So the purpose of this video isn't to say don't have antioxidants. Okay, antioxidant rich foods are great, okay, but they are a drop in the bucket. Remember, our bodies have their own endogenous antioxidants. Okay, there is one in particular that's called superoxide dismutase. And in this case, I'll reference a study that talks about superoxide dismutase too. There was a study published in the journal Cell Metabolism that took a look at rodents. Okay, and what they did is they did what's called a knockout, where they take, uh, they can just eliminate a gene out of the mice. Now, you can't do that in a human, right? But in a mouse or a rodent model, they took what is called superoxide dismutase. That is the body's probably key endogenous antioxidant, antioxidant that we make inside our body. When they knocked out that gene, caloric restriction did not have a positive benefit on their lifespan. If that gene was still present, they did not mess with it, then caloric restriction did have a positive impact on their life expectancy. This video is not to make a point about caloric restriction. This video is to make a point about antioxidants and oxidative stress. In other words, in this particular case, the caloric restriction, which was an oxidative stressor, it needed to act upon something. The superoxide dismutase upregulated the antioxidants within our body upregulated to deal with the stressor. 
That means that now the cells are more resilient because they have developed the ability to deal with it. So think about it logically. If you have a cell or components within your body that are so babied and so entitled because they are so shielded and sheltered from everything, they're going to be weaker. So with aging, we used to think that if we could just add more antioxidants and protect our body from the breakdown of these, anti of these oxidative stressors, we are gonna be in a tremendous spot. But now we come to see, oh, wait a minute, a little bit of this stress is actually going to help us. And if we have too much stress, too much, then that's a problem, okay? That just goes to show, like we've seen research and I've talked about in other videos as well, like too much exercise is bad too. A moderate amount of exercise is good and no exercise is not good. It's all about finding that balance. So the aging research now and the longevity research now is much more focused on how do we actually inflict the right amount of stress not shield ourselves from stress. So by adding antioxidant rich foods into your diet, you're not causing a problem. I still think there's a net positive effect there, but as far as really sort of biohacking is concerned, by trying to supercharge your body with antioxidant defense, you're actually doing yourself more harm than good. It's just like when I say, if you're intermittent fasting during a fast, it's not the time to take antioxidants. That is your time to reap the benefits of the stress of your fast. So, sorry, Becky's juice stand, probably not gonna support your business today. We'll see you tomorrow.